come back. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman. Um, I just want to echo some of the points that um, Councillor Moore made, mm -hmm. someone who I think, um, uh, as he said earlier, has got 40 years of experience in planning, and I don't think there's anyone in this chamber who's got more experience than Nigel when it comes to uh, planning matters. Indeed, I, um, I think uh, we're very lucky to have someone like him leading on what is a, a very complex uh, issue uh, for us, and we should be very grateful for his uh, words of wisdom uh, on this. Um, and, I'm sure, and I'm sure he's got far more experience than so. Um, the, the key issue is that there has been a huge amount of scaremongering on this from political parties who, who, care, who care little actually for those uh, protesters that sit at the back and are more interested in trying to carve out a nice position um, for their own politics in their own backyard. And, and I do feel there are many in this chamber who pointed out continually from day one that when reports were being published about the viability of fracking in Gloucestershire, the viability mm -hmm. of fracking in Gloucestershire as a prospect was very, very low. And in fact, there were many in this chamber and many um, in the community were saying that they didn't believe that the, uh, the, the sort of fracking opportunities that were being talked about would actually be practical in reality. And what we've seen um, is that one license that was actually issued being handed back. And I think that in itself speaks volumes around the uh, opportunities um, of fracking in this county and the realities that we will be facing through the planning process. Nonetheless, there is a conversation that needs to be taken place nationally about energy security. Yeah. Um, that is a very serious conversation um, that needs to be taken as a nation and something that we need as a council to be very aware of because we do not want to be the politicians that see our generation seeing blackouts because of a lack of energy um, security in this nation. That's a real issue. That is a genuine real issue. And, and there will be voters and <coughs> local residents who will not thank us if the decisions that we take over the next couple of years, whether it be on fracking, whether it be on nuclear, um, mean that that energy security is put at risk. But the fundamental other issue um, that we need to address today is the responsibility of this authority when it comes to planning. And I think Nigel summed it up very well. This is far too premature a motion to be bringing into this council. We have a plan that is out for consultation. Um, there will be responses from individual district councils, from parish councils, from individual groups as part of that consultation process. We then will have to make a decision as a council and as a planning authority with regards to the adoption of a minerals plan, which will form the basis of any um, future applications that may or may not arise um, on this particular topic. And that plan has to be robust enough to withstand any onslaught that may be brought against this county from anyone seeking if there are opportunities for fracking in the future. And as to that last statement, let's be absolutely clear that you know, this council cannot, in principle alone, um, sit back and say that it is against fracking because it has to have in its place a clear understanding of the planning obligations as set out in the National Planning Policy Framework and set out a case for which it can judge or future planning applications. So even if there are members of this council that sit here today and vote for this, and there are members of the public that walk out of here thinking that there are members of this council that have signed up to this, as has been quite rightly pointed out by the monitoring officer, when it comes to the actual planning uh, paper coming to this council, coming to planning, those people will have to have a completely open mind as to whether uh, or not that those policies are acceptable, making that final statement null and void, which goes back to my original point, that this is basically a motion which is about political scaremongering. It has nothing to do with the reality of the process that we're in, and that is why we are not going to participate in this farce, and we will be abstaining. Thank you. Well, yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah.